I would rather decamp to you right on the spot, right in front of Avmel. <sighs> Do I even need to say anything at this point? Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't take the IQ of Albert Einstein to realize that this person is a psychopath. The internet is a great tool, not just for shopping or browsing for information, but also for turning people into werewolves. And the perfect example of that are members of stan communities. It honestly amazes me that these people spend so much time worshipping their favorite celebrity, but they don't have enough energy to get up from their computer, go take a shower, go outside, and actually socialize. Like for example, if someone says something critical about Dream, his toxic fanbase will not just bully them, oh no, that wouldn't be nearly enough. They will also try and find their IP address just to send an improvised explosive device to their house. <laughs> I know what you are! And the topic of today's video is not just a demonstration of how these stun communities are just the biggest cesspit ever, but also in general of how low human behavior can fall. So recently, the commentary YouTuber Rith uploaded this video titled Afmao Fan Wants to Kill Me, in which he talks about a person who legit sent him death threats because he made a couple of videos on the Minecraft YouTuber Afmao. Now, I would would provide some honest commentary on this, but unfortunately, I am restricted by YouTube's community guidelines, so I'll say it in a more ad-friendly way. I would have this bitch publicly ex- But anyways, as Philip DeFranco likes to say, let's just jump into it. Hi everyone, I'm making this video now at 12 35 in the morning. I'm in my room, right like across far away from the hall where my dad sleeps, so... I'm, I'm good. Nobody's awake. Okay, first of all, this is a terrible video introduction. When you introduce a video, you are supposed to keep an audience engaged and entertained, not bore them to death. And why does she sound as if she's recording this video in bed? Like, she legit sounds as if she just got off the call in her dream sexual discord server, hopped into her bed, got her iPad, pressed record, and started spitting shit into the mic. I'm pretty sure if I was 12, had a missing eye, and also Down syndrome, even then, I could make a better video than this. But I just saw three days ago the same the same man who I talked about. Did I just hear something? It's probably just me. Oh my god, this is so ass. Can't you just wait until morning before you start recording the video? Or are you that obsessed with this guy that you have to record it now at night time? I tweeted about this about this person to Fmel. I'm pretty sure she's never responded to me. Oh wow, is that so fucking surprising? Have you ever considered the possibility that maybe, just maybe, in theory, quite possibly, Afmao does not give a shit about what Rith has to say? And I'm just like, what's your problem with her? Like seriously, I would rather decamp to you right on the spot, right in front of Afmao and her friends. I feel like she wouldn't even care. She would just be like, well, since that person hates me, I guess I shouldn't be bothered about it. Holy shit. This person is literally the real-life counterpart of Patrick Bateman. This is no longer Dream Stand territory. We have gone way past that. This is the equivalent of hijacking a plane and flying it into a house because the person that lives there made an edgy tweet. Because... Why? It doesn't even make any sense. You know what doesn't make any sense? Sending death threats to a YouTuber over a couple of jokes. Like, what the fuck was she trying to accomplish with this video? Was she trying to express her emotions? Or was she trying to get attention? Because if she was expressing her emotions, she needs to go see a psychiatrist. Or go get a lobotomy. Th that's a better option. So, I go into mental breakdowns. Oh yes, thank you for informing us of that. It's not like it was fucking obvious based of you literally threatening another YouTuber's life. I barely don't know what to say, and I'm right now panicking over the fact that this person still goes after Atmos content. Let me offer you some advice, because you truly sound like you need it. So what you want to do, is you want to get off your chair, like this, you know, it's a very simple thing to do. Then, what you need to do, is you need to go to something called a bathroom, like I'm pretty sure you have one in your house, unless you live in Guatemala, and then what you want to do, is go into the shower and clean yourself, because I'm pretty sure 
you've collected so much grime that it's enough to make a whole KFC meal. And then what you want to do is go outside, you know, in the real world and talk to actual people, not people on Twitter. I'm sorry to anyone, including Afro, who's a kid-friendly YouTuber, but I seriously do not care. I'm almost an adult at 19 years old. So, you are 19, and instead of doing something productive, you are sending death threats to a commentary YouTuber. <laughs> Bro, you're fucking 19! You are literally like a fucking taxpayer right now, and you are spending your fucking days rotting in your room sending death threats to a commentary YouTuber! <laughs> Bro, nah, nah, there is truly no hope for you. You should just, I don't know, I don't know what you should do, disappear, just like become a prostitute, because only then will you have someone to call daddy. And basically, I can just say whatever I want. No, you cannot. You cannot go onto the internet and threaten to behead someone. You could actually get arrested for your blatant stupidity. Oh my god. I said in the last video, subscribe or sleep with your mother. This sort of happened to me back on my old phone, where people harassed me on Twitter saying that they know where I live or something and that they're fucking my parents. Nah, nah, c come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch is not a fucking snowflake. She's a fucking molecule. Honestly, I cannot even be bothered to react to this shit anymore. So anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and for all of your support. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications on, please comment because it really helps me out in the algorithm. Also, join my Discord server and follow me on the cesspit known as Twitter. Also, please do not send any hate to this person, it's just not necessary. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!